Hi guys, I'm Muni from smarttutorials.net uh, and uh, this is series of uh, video tutorials on jQuery of autocomplete. Um, so in this tutorial we're gonna see uh, jQuery multiple field autocomplete. So this is what we're gonna um, do in this tutorial. For example, adding table, adding and removing table roles dynamically using jQuery. Um, then we will add the uh, jQuery autocomplete for the uh, functionality for the multiple fields for example when we select it will fill the remaining field, all other fields so I'm planning to um, uh, split this tutorial into two uh, in fast tutorial um, I'm planning uh, I will cover how to add and remove table rows dynamically using jQuery. Next tutorial, uh, we will add the jQuery um, autocomplete functionality to this all the fields. Okay, uh, let's go and create an, uh, a new project in your root folder. So uh, already I have created um, a, a project folder. Um, the added uh, index.html file um, index.html also I download the record uh, uh, libraries that is jQuery and jQuery UI, UI and I kept in the project folder in source CSS folder I kept uh, jQuery UI CSS this is custom CSS just written for this also I kept uh, jQuery UI and jQuery um, library in the lib folder JS folder then I included those uh, UI, uh, CSS and JS files in the index.html. So a bootstrap CSS added for just for uh, styling purpose. Okay, that's it. So now um, go and add. Uh, so now I'm trying to. So this is what I am my project is. Now add the uh, table. Just um, plain HTML table. So I'm arranging. Next, I have add the table. Yeah, this is what table looks like. Um, this. So, so I added a. Uh, table header also had a uh, input field so each uh, given the ID with the sum numbers so that we can uh, while adding delaying deleting or while you know sub you know inserting some value to the text boxes we need the unique identifier that's why I added ID wherever it's necessary so I also added the remove icon here. So now I uh, added remove icon. So we need on um, so button to add new um, so uh, <coughs> new table rows dynamically using jQuery. So that's it. So this is on the descending side now on clicking of this we need to add the new table row now I'll also when you click on this we need to delete the table row that's what we need to wanna achieve now so go to your thing so I'm planning to write as a module and calling that module uh, in the jQuery ready event so okay so first create an simple uh, javascript module so i am naming it smart auto
from the module I'm returning any function in uh, no. very key event call this okay so if so in jquery it is best practice to key uh, unnecessarily not like uh, no, uh, you know not liking any uh, variables or functions in the public so keep everything um, inside the module so as so as we are not leaking anything to the public okay <coughs> And now uh, I in the init function I will call register events create a register event function in the register also create few variables add button and HTML for create in the add button a reference of the this button select the add new this button jQuery okay so when you clicking of this I'm adding even on click event on click I call add new row so adding new function called add new row okay so also I'm adding uh, delete even delete row one more function So on clicking of this, we need to call. So also I'm adding <coughs> on clicking of this. We need to call delete row. Okay. So there is two uh, uh, the difference between um, um you know the click event initially is two different way um, because the add button is uh, added to the DOM um, while page load itself so we can directly select like this but the delete row right so this is is added dynamically so we need to uh, add the click event on DOM, um, on DOM so that it so so that the dynamic uh, added DOM is traversed and find the particular um, you know row easily so so whenever you want to attach any events to the dynamic uh, elements you need to uh, you know uh, attach the event in jQuery this way if you do this way it won't work okay now I'm adding one more function form HTML copy this this is what we need to append on every click of this add new button form the HTML also one more row variable I am declaring in the uh, in the variable I am you know saving the number of table rows added the ID to the table in the table body I am getting number of TR length 
plus one because initially when page loads uh, the row length is one okay so when user clicks this is uh, row number two right so we need to add plus one okay so now plus html so form the html like this sooner so I'm planning to copy paste already out there. So form the HTML. So wherever the number it is there, replace the row count. Row count. Finally, increase the row count and return HTML. Okay. So now also I'm keeping tab table body. One more variable in the table body. I'm keeping reference to this because on every click we don't need to select. Keep on selecting this. So I'm just on page load. I'm just uh, selecting this and keeping it in variable so that we, whenever we want, we can use it. Okay. So all we need is append. I'm clicking on this. We just need to call form HTML function. Okay, that's it. So now if you click form HTML, okay, reload the page, check is there any error? Smart auto unit. Yeah, this is like this. Okay, now click on this row count is okay. Now reload. Yeah, it's getting keep on adding. See. So it will get keep on added. Now we need to add the functionality to delete this particular row. Okay. So I'm declaring few variables. Current element and on row number. Okay, so also I am planning to write one more function to get the current row number. So if you click on this, you will get the row number of one, two, three, four, like this. So, be, so because we added the row underscore the num row uh, number, so on click on this number, so if we know the current element we get the id and splitting it we will get the um, row in one uh, array of strings so array of two strings so if you get the last uh, string you will get the row number okay so what i will do to this get id function i am pausing the current click uh, element I'm getting the ID and splitting it finally retaining the the row number if we get the row number then I um, uh, you know concatenate row, uh, this row with the row number you will get the uh, the particular row ID then call remove function jQuery remove function it will remove the uh, clicked um, the row okay let's check now Okay, it will add now click on this it will remove okay check this for example three I'm clicking on this second as it is removed now I'm clicking on the first one so it's got removed so this is how uh, you add 
table rows dynamically and remove the rows dynamically using jQuery. So next tutorial uh, we're gonna see how to add um, jQuery autocomplete functionality to this multiple fields. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel.